kind of upset and depressed about this because this is pretty much the country. And no too much nothing like this happened around here. It's crazy. She don't she didn't bother nobody and nothing. Stayed to herself. She was, she was an old lady, probably in her 60s, I believe. She retired? Yes, ma'am. Did you talk? I know you talked about the kittens, but do you have any other interactions with her or anything? No, you no. Know, he was talking about the summertime cleaning up around here and everything. About it, helping to straighten up a yard or something that he straightened up. You know, that's about it. Do people on this road kind of know each other pretty well? Pretty close, tight knit area? Well, pretty much it is. Everybody mostly, you know, stated itself, you know. And I see people out here mowing their yards and stuff. I wave at them and stuff. You know, they wave back. But we ain't been here too long, so just to get, actually get to know the neighborhood. I know the people right over here, Mr. Alex, now, well. And, you know, they come over and eat with us when we cook out and stuff. That's about it. I've heard her name is Martha Crow, is that right? And yes, ma'am, it is. Okay. Did she have, um, like, kids or anything, do you know? Well, I was talking to my mother-in-law, and I believe she had a son, but I don't know too much about that. You know when the police got here, about what time? Well, we left about 9 this morning, and we just got home. I like getting phone calls and stuff, and people was asking me questions, so we tried to help her rush back. She got off work, and we rushed back here and talked to the police and see what was going on. They really couldn't tell us nothing. Mm -hmm. Do you know if there was like anybody that went to her house pretty often, like a friend or anything? Didn't, didn't too many, didn't nobody. We didn't see nobody hardly go over there. Besides our cousin next door, he helped her pick up around the yard and stuff with his, the branches to have a bonfire about it. So her cousin lives right across? Over. Yeah, the next house over. Okay. Is there, you know, anything that you would kind of want people to know about her? I know you didn't have a lot of interactions, but... Well, she is, to, to me, she was a pretty nice lady, you know. she. You know, I respected her from what little time I knew her. And she was, all I know, she was a nice lady. She was a really nice lady to me. She was in my family. My mother-in-law thought highly of her, you know. So, you know, so messed up. Well, how, are, how are you feeling with this so close to your home it's and not knowing what's happening? <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of upsetting because I got two kids that live here. And, you know, of course, we got a pit bull in the house, which is pretty much our protection. Let us know anybody comes to the door or pulls up. I got one in the back, too. You know, so that's about all the protection we really got, you know. She really didn't have nobody to live with her.